Today I'm breaking down how to do tracking and analytics for all of your leads, data, and sales. I'm gonna make it super simple and very concise. To be frank, I hate numbers, but I've been able to grow my agency to $600,000 a month, and I've been the tracking and analytics guy. So I just wanna say, if I can do this, you can do this. Now I'm gonna make it as clear as possible and show you the exact tools that I'm using in my business, and then I'm gonna give you a template so you can copy and paste it and use it yourself. So let's dive right in. Uh, here I'm in a tool called Notion. Notion is a, a really great tool for organizing data, organizing information in your company. But for this purpose, I'm gonna be showing you how to use it as a UTM link builder. Now, if you're not already familiar with UTMs, these are small pieces of information added to a link to help you track where your visitors are coming from. And there's different layers to a UTM parameter. There's the URL, this is the domain that you're sending people to. So if it's a landing page, this is your landing page URL. There's the source, so where is this click coming from? Either a search engine, social media. There's the medium, such as email or YouTube. Campaign, so if you're running a specific campaign with a product, a promo code. And then you can get even more granular with UTMs. If you wanna get really down to the nitty gritty, you can also add content and term. This is five layers. To, at which you can track. So what, what do I mean by layers? Say you're driving leads from YouTube. So your source might be YouTube or your source might be social media. Your medium will be YouTube. Your campaign could be a discount code that you're offering in that video. The content could be the specific video that you're including that link on. And the term could be like, where is that link placed in the video? Is this the one on top? Is this the one on bottom? So you can get really granular with where you're tracking. Now, the hard part is, how do, you, how do you build these links? How do you keep track of them? And then how do you actually look at this data? So this is where the UTM link builder comes in. I just cloned this one so I can show you. And then I'm gonna give you this template. If you watch till the end of this video, it's just gonna be a short video too. So how do you build these UTM links? You've got your base URL. So for me, leadgenj.com slash insiders. This is my course sales page. Then we've got medium and source. So I, I've built this template in a way that make it really easy for you to quickly add different mediums and sources depending on what you want to track. So if I wanna change my medium, I've got social media, email, CPC. These are some examples. And if you want to add another one, for example, paid ads. Then you can change the source. So where is it coming from? Meta ad, Instagram, LinkedIn organic, LinkedIn ads. So you're getting more granular as you go down. Campaign name. Sometimes I leave this blank and just give it a generic name. But for example, if I'm running a birthday discount, I can name the campaign birthday discount to keep track. Content, say this is in my DM automation video. And term, let's just say this is a footer link. You can leave out content and term if you don't want to get that granular. So then what's going on here, this is a formula that's going to generate the URL for you. And here's kind of how that works. Now here's the big ugly formula that I spent some time building. Uh, feel free to, to go through it and tweak it if you want, but the great part about this, this uh, UTM builder is it's already built for you. So you input all of this information, which is really simple, and then it spits out a UTM link that you can just copy and paste. And if you can see in here, it's got all of these different UTMs on it. And the great thing about UTM codes, I'm gonna click this link. It actually follows me to the destination page and it follows you all the way through your journey. This way you're able to track where somebody came from in their first and their last attribution. So what do I mean by that? Somebody might click on that link from a YouTube video. They might then opt in through that link, which is the first attribution. This is the first time that they've encountered me. And then three weeks later, they might get an email in one of my nurture sequences. Click on a link in there and convert. That's their last attribution. So it's important to know one, what's driving the new leads, the first attribution, and two, what's converting the leads. That's why you wanna have UTM parameters on everything. So if that's clear, that makes sense, how to build UTM parameters, how to use them, you should put this on all of your landing pages, all of your opt-in pages, all of your sales pages, anywhere that you're linking across your social media sites, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to my Instagram account. So leadgenj.com slash free. This might not look like it's a UTM parameter, but I'm gonna click on it. And that link actually redirects me here, which is my main opt-in page. And this has 
UTM source equals Instagram, UTM medium equals bio. So they came from Instagram from the link in my bio. So as you can see, I'm using a pretty link to still redirect using UTMs. So the problem with UTM links, and you'll probably encounter this, is that now you've got this big ugly link, which you're not gonna put in your Instagram bio because that would look stupid sitting here. So there's a couple different strategies that you can use. You can do what I did here, which is a clean redirect. Um, I do this directly on Go High Level. So if you come into your Go High Level settings, they also have this on WordPress or whatever website host that you're using. You can come into URL redirects and build these here in two seconds. The other option to make these UTM links a little bit prettier is to use a link shortener. I like to use Switchy. And Switchy, I can actually build UTM templates in here to automatically add the UTMs so that I don't have to use Notion. But I do like Notion because it keeps everything organized and clean. But Switchy will actually make this link short. So I can call this whatever I want and then it's going to be a shortened link with those UTM parameters. That's how you keep the links looking good, looking pretty. Okay, so great. Now you've got tracking on everybody. You've got first and last attribution, but what good is this to you if you don't know where that data lives and how to visualize it? So let me show you something cool. This is a customer that recently purchased inside of my pipeline. Now we've got a couple of pieces of information here. On the bottom right, you'll see first attribution and last attribution. So the first attribution, we've got a UTM source, UTM medium, UTM content. This is telling me exactly where he came from and the specific ad that he came from. And these are UTM parameters that I built natively in Facebook ads, not in Notion. But just note that they're everywhere. They're in ads, they're in my social media platforms, they're in every single video. The other thing that you can do with these UTMs to get the most out of your data is you can use automations to put those UTMs into a sheet just like this. So this is a list of leads that have book calls with my PR agency. I have a simple Zapier automation so someone books a call, Zapier takes that, puts it into the sheet with these UTM parameters following them. So we've got paid social, Facebook ads lead, um, and then the specific ad that they converted on. We've got LinkedIn from Outbound, and then we've got the BDR that closed them. So now I've got all of these UTM codes that are attached to these contacts in the sheet. Now, what good is that to me? Well, you can run a pivot table or you can use something like this. This is a tool called Plecto we use to visualize the data based on the Google Sheet. Really user-friendly, really clean to use. And this way we can really accurately see where our leads are coming from. That way we can lean more into those sources and also which leads are converting. For example, our Facebook leads, we're not converting very well. Whereas our cold email leads were converting very, very well. So that led us to the decision to scale back our Facebook ads and focus a lot more on cold email marketing. You know how I mentioned well, every CRM keeps track of the UTM codes? Well, Go High Level actually makes it really easy to visualize where things are coming from inside of your business. So you can build pipelines in here to visualize all of these different UTM parameters in the best way that you see fit. For example, contacts by source. This is where people are coming from when they enter my pipeline for the most part. And I can actually come in here and build out new widgets if I'm curious to see where people are coming from. So for example, if I wanna see contacts by source, contacts by medium, this is all based on the UTM tracking codes that they have on their contact. So this can be a really, really powerful tool for visualizing data, getting good information, and making educated decisions about how you're spending your time and your money. Now, if you want access to this Notion template, I'm going to have a link down in the description of this video where you can copy it into your business and start using it right away. I hope this is helpful for you. Now remember, it's really hard to scale your business if you don't know your numbers, and this is how you know your numbers. So put UTM links on everything. Make sure that you're using the same medium sources and campaign structure across all your UTMs. That way when you're looking at the data, you are sure that there's not overlap and that all of the, the nomenclature is correct. So if you set this up the first time and you do it right the first time, you're gonna have a ton of data in your business and you're gonna be shocked how useful that data is for you in the long run when you're making uh, those, those tough decisions on to where you spend your time and money. Hope this is helpful. Uh, if you like this video and you got some value out of it, hit the like button, it means a lot to me. And make sure that you're subscribed so you can keep getting better at business, making more money and being a better entrepreneur. I'll see you soon.